Hi, I'm Arti from AWS. Hi, I'm Carlos Carlos from Opportune, and this is my architecture. We've got an architecture here, but I would love to understand what business challenge are you trying to solve with AWS solutions? So well, the business uh, challenge that we were trying to solve at Opportune was uh, knowing where our sensitive data was. Uh, it was vastly important for us to know, uh, especially sensitive data for our members' information to protect it. Uh, that was the number one challenge that we wanted to solve. Help me understand what kind of data is it and why is it important to Opportune? We provide finan uh, financial services to folks so that typically are left out of the financial mainstream. Um, our members' data is very important to us. So things like social security numbers, items, government IDs, right? All this information is what we need to provide services to our members. And it is um, of utmost importance to us to protect that data. Awesome. So why don't you show us how you utilize Macy to achieve this? Sure. Yeah, so Macy is a data discovery tool. And um, the main thing about Macy is, you know, you can connect multiple, most organizations have more than one AWS account, right? We started from our perspective, for our priority was production data. So we looked at our, you know, we connected our production accounts. And for every account that you connect Macy to, you have a, an S3 bucket, right, that you have to set up at, for, for that account. Once we connected Macy uh, to our accounts, it quickly did an inventory of all our S3 buckets. And it was just a matter of, uh, you know, us determining which buckets we wanted to scan out of the box. You know, the end result really is to improve our data, data security posture management, right? Our DSPM, uh, improve and protect our customer data is the end goal. So when we run these scans on the S3 buckets, right? And we're running our scans, whether they're manual or scheduled or uh, whatever cadence we have, we have findings that are coming in here. Again, as I mentioned, no PII, no sensitive information is in the buckets. You know, So basically uh, just metadata. It's metadata. And these are S3 buckets that we own. They're in our account, right? That's important as well, because ultimately, the results come in here, you know, again, it's the number of SSNs in this bucket or number of items or data births, whatever it is that you're looking for, depending on the uh, sensitivity of the data. So you have the, you have the data that goes into the buckets and we have other tools that, you know, services with um, AWS, such as Amazon Athena here, right, that looks into and queries these buckets. Amazon Athena is a SQL based um, discovery, you know, um, query tool that um, basically looks at the information from the findings and to your to your point about what are we doing with this ultimately we the end result is identifying the findings there finding the owners of the buckets and then ultimately remediating right how do we remediate we identify the owners um additional services that we have you know we we on our in our in our use case we we drop the data as well into some uh, mysql data lake that we've built and um you don't want to give users a yeah a, a big CSV file or Excel file with here here's all your findings right here's you want to tell a better story. We do that by peering into you know the information directly from the S3 bucket via Athena and putting that information in a dashboard using QuickSight, other tools like Tableau, Power BI, you know whatever analytic tool that you have, any business intelligence tool to tell a better story of saying hey here are top ten, top twenty, top thirty you know, risky buckets by type of PII. And here's the owners that we have, we want to remediate with. And that's how we go and talk to the owners, remediate, we show them and we work together to remediate, delete the data, archive it, remove the bucket if it's no longer in use, right? Glue is also part of that equation. But primarily it's, it's, uh, it's the process of Amazon sending the findings to Athena, you know, and uh, via some automations with Glue. We have, you know, we have the additional processes that get the data, load the data, aggregate it, and then we ultimately report it and talk to our data owners. But on an average, what would you say the accuracy is like for something landing into a bucket being detected by Macy and then going through your like visualization workflow here? Yeah. So, you know, for patterns and regexes like uh, SSNs and ITINs, some of those top really critical sensitive types. Our accuracy, you know, we found with with Macy automated sensitive discovery was ninety five percent. Got it. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate sharing the architecture with us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.